Okay, here today we're going to have a rough guide to hack the SNES Mini. I made a video last night and it was kind of awful, but it did have a few tips and pointers. But it wasn't really a guide, it was just me practicing on how to do this. Now, I'm going to show you a quick way of actually doing it. So, without further ado, what we need to do is first off go onto the computer and download Hatch, Hatchy. We're going to get the web installer, and then also there's a few tips right now. Um, SNES mini cable will come with it, it's USB. Plug it into the USB 3 port if you've got one. Basically, when you plug it into two, the power can fluctuate and go off when you're installing stuff, which is not a good thing. Okay, so let's get onto the computer now. We're going to use Bandicam and we're okay, starting need from to do now here. Let's go onto the internet. Um, recording this with Bandicam, so hopefully it's good enough. And type in SNES. I know many. Um, H S H A K C H I two point. To zero GitHub. Um, what you need to do is also find the cluster one, for GitHub, download it here. You should come up with this screen that tells you about the way to do it and get the web installer. You'll be able to find a link to the site in the description. Then you've got it, we've got hatch there, install it, and when it first installs it will come up with this. Install driver, yes. Just allow all of the virus scan. All you have is the original games. If you click it, it shows you all the original games on your system, all the 21, including the Star Fox 2 game. Right, next thing you need to do is turn on your SNES Mini holding the reset and power buttons. Let's get into that now. Back onto the SNES Mini now. Um, get your cable, as I say, plug your cable into the USB free slot. USB 3. When it's plugged into USB 3 port, which is here on my machine, turn on your SNES Mini whilst holding the reset button. Okay, when you've done this, the light won't be on. But it will be in the mode what the computer can see. So if we switch back to the computer now, you'll see that the um, there's no sign of the SNES Mini, but it is there. Let's go into the computer. Okay, um, kernel. Um, you can dump your kernel from here. Do you want to dump the kernel? Yes. What will be happening now is the kernel will be dumping and you need to do this first. The SNES Mini might not show what it's actually connected in this mode. But when you look at it, let's cut back to the phone. The light will be on and the kernel is dumping as you can see on the TV. And um, because I've got the custom firmware in there it says the kernel is dumped but the MD5 check sum is unknown. When you do this the first time round you want to have a SNES mini firmware dumped and you need to make two backups of the dumped folder which I've done. If we go to the computer now. Right we continue on the computer there we go. Right it's saved in the Hatchery 2 dump folder which will be on the C drive in this case. I can't find that, but it is in there, don't worry. 
Um, it will look a bit like this. It will look a bit little like this one here. SNES kernel. And when you go to properties, it should be going up at 2.60 megabyte. That would be original. Save it a couple of times, as I say. Okay, now you can get on to doing the next bit. Um, the next bit's actually on the SNES Mini, so we're knock back to the phone. Okay, we've knocked back to our phone, as I say. The SNES will be now be on, and if you change the station on your TV to HDMI. It should be playing on screen. A bit of luck. Okay, so it's not no signal found. Don't panic. Turn off. It's this mini. It'll take a few seconds for the power light to go off. And if it doesn't, you're going to need to pull out the wire. So don't panic, just pull out the cable, there we go, cable out, lights are off. Leave it off for a few seconds, for it just to like cool down a bit, and plug it back in. on USB. Okay, what we're going to do next now, now the SNES Mini is back off, we're going to turn it on again with both the reset button and power button. This is step two. Just leave it for a few seconds. Kernel. Flash a custom kernel. Do you want a flash custom for kernel? But yes. This will take a few minutes to do. But if you plug it into USB 2, it can fail. It failed last time I've done this, so hopefully this will be fine doing this. Custom firmware is actually included with the web installer and let's switch back to the computer now this should give you a clearer picture that's that same kernel we dumped out so just save it again as long as you've got your original firmware you don't have to worry about it messing up because you can reinstall the firmware this is actually as you can see it's very fine and uploading the kernel while it uploads the kernel, the power light stays on. Yep, the little uh, dot is green. Uh, sorry, is red. It should be green if it's actually the machine's found. And this is red. But as you can see, the machine is found. When you've got the sound on, you'll be able to hear the little windows ring what the machine's been put in. Also, when you first do this, it might ask you to install drivers. Uh, just go ahead and install the drivers, but unfortunately they might say it's like a virus or something. But don't worry about that, just install them drivers if you need to. Right, so done. You can upload the SNES Mini Games now. Press OK. And now you can see here it's gone to green. Right, so done. You can upload the SNES Mini games now. Gone to green. SNES Mini light is on. That's on. Okay, let's jump back online. Uh, get some SNES ROMs just to go to your browser and type. And then you'll come up with loads of different places what you could possibly download some from. I ain't going to recommend any ain't going to download any on Blooming YouTube because that would just be stupid but as you can see loads and loads of them some have been taken down some don't work some are virusy but make a good choice and um, you'll be able to find some ROMs right just go and get some right 
kids in the sweet shop. Candy for free. Here they are. Okay, when you've got a ROM, I've got a Spanky's Quest because that's a pretty damn good game. You should get it in like a form of a RAR file or a zip file. You might need WinRAR, but that's been covered in other of my videos. Just type in RAR Labs and download it if you haven't got it. And then you've got Spanky's Quest. All you need to do is go to here, add more games. Spanky's Quest. Spanky's Quest. Click on that one. And the game will load into memory. Now, here's the game where we loaded, and you want to get a cover for it. Now, you can search around, but you go into Google, and it will download Spanky's Quest. This is the one I was thinking of, but this is quite a good game anyway. Rocket Knight Adventures, I thought that was called Spanky. Oh, no, never mind. Let's go and get Rocket Knight Adventures as well. So I've just chose that box. That's how it's going to appear on the system. Two seconds, I'll get the other one. Let's try to the Rocky Rodent. There's more games. Go to find the one we just done it. Rocky Rodent. It will load in there. There it is there. Again, select the image you want. Everybody's going to hate me for that one. There you go, that's how it's going to display on the thing. So then, what you do is you synchronise with the console. You have to select them all, because if you don't, I think they actually come off or not show. So make sure they're all selected. Synchronise with the game console, as long as this is on green here. Here we go, this is doing quite quick. You're adding three more games to it. Okay, so it shows done, and then it shows error. But this is actually the machine resetting. If we have the phone out, you'll see what the little light goes off, and then comes back on. Now in a few seconds, that should come back on. I don't know if you heard it. Done, okay. Now we should be set to source it back over to the HDMI. Source it back up to HDMI. Okay, so when you get back to the TV, you'll find that you've got all the original games still intact. It should all still be working fine. But if you scroll through it, you'll find that you've got an extra folder here. That one. And when you press that one, A, then the other two games should be in there. Let's have a look. That's the Rocky Rodent, what we just put in. That's how it's displaying on the screen. And the Spanky's Quest there. But we're not actually selecting that one yet. There we go, select that one. should come up and place okay and with that I'll leave it there just to show it does work and it's all good I don't know if you've played this but it's actually quite good there's lots of ones what wasn't included with these SNES <coughs> and um, you've got around about 300 meg to play with so you've had to get quite a few of your favourite games in there don't go loading it up with a load of rubbish just keep it classic or Keep it to the best games and keep it to the ones you like. Okay, hope this has helped somebody out and I'll see you all again in the next video. Thanks for watching this and uh, bye for now, as always. Bye.